can music cause depression? And it's and it says basically that it can't cause depression, but it can influence your mood and emotional state. All right, here we go. This is going to be a quick discussion on how music and different genres and different types of those genres can affect your mood, can affect your emotional state, can affect, in a lot of ways, your well-being. These are just some observations I've had over the years. Um, I've talked a bit about how you are the sum of the five people you spend the most time around or that are in your life the most. I'm also going to say the same thing for music genres and music that you listen to. I've done a little bit of poking around on the internet just to see if I'm out of my mind. It's debatable. But I've been around enough projects and about enough artists and around enough even just people who listen to music to know the difference when the music that they're listening to or even working on is affecting them in a in a negative way or a positive way i've, I've known it for myself personally if i get up on a sunday morning and turn on some mellow chill Stan gets with a saxophone going and things like that. I'm I'm in a good mood. Things are a little lighter that day. If I was and I'm gonna definitely be calling out a couple of different things in specifics, if I was to turn on something by say future, I would be willing to bet that my mood would not exactly be uplifted and positive and you know chipper i got a couple of his lyrics up right here this is like you know i'm not going into like um i wanted to make sure that i thought what i thought what i was thinking um was real i can tell you what some of the background on this uh, there's a friend of mine who i hang out with here and there he likes to drive and he'll pick me up in his car if we're going somewhere. And the second I get in the car, I feel my entire mood get into some weird, gloomy state. And he's always listening to, I guess what you would say is trap or elements of that that include artists like Future, uh, I, I'm going off a few. Lucky, um, Gunna, I guess Travis Travis Scott, maybe even a little bit of Kendrick Lamar. I mean, when you're hearing lyrics creep into your life that are as gloomy as this, how you? you I don't know. Are you going to get cheerful when you're when? Or are you you're gonna be in a good mood when you're hearing things like um I don't know. I'm never sober, don't think I'm a quit. I pop the E, I can feel it when it kick. Um I mean, the obvious using the B word in reference to women and saying she breaks her neck just to look at you. I took a few shrooms, I forget where I'm at. Popping a Tesla, I feel when it kicks. Um, flying commercially in as high as me. I get the metaphor there, but uh, it's these aren't. And the, what, the reason I'm reflecting on some of this is that you know this is a the people that I'm around that listen to this kind of stuff are never really on a positive tip. They're 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 sedating themselves with drugs and alcohol and the internet. Um and it's not just for trap. I think it goes for like certain gloomy forms of 
metal and uh, even probably some depressing um, bedroom pop or emo. I think there, but there is a certain tonality and I'm not going to get into like the whole frequency thing that a lot of people have talked about, which I happen to agree with that there are tonalities and tunings that are being used by these genres that don't exactly raise the mood in the room to something cheerful. It's a, it's like a sedated state. It's a hypnotic trance like state. If, if you were to take it to extremes, I would say that like, if you wanted to be in a good mood and you're riding around in your car, would you listen to music from horror movies, like a horror movie soundtrack while you're driving around and expect to be, to not get anxious? I mean, there's, there's a reason why certain tonalities and intervals and chord intervals um, cause tension. And then there's reasons why different treatments of audio cause people to feel somewhat um in, a, in like a trance like kind of scenario uh, just some sort of subdued mood now you add into the fact that they are condoning drug use and you know i just saw like stop taking molly i'm back on the e um i didn't know there was a difference but This probably will get some pushback. This is not exactly my Monday recap after the live uh, stream that I typically do. But this is something that's been getting at me for a while as I work. I work on all kinds of music. I work on hip-hop, R&B, pop, singer-songwriter stuff, EDM, dance. I won't go anywhere near the the, the gloomy stuff, the the trap. Um, I really not, a, I'm not really not going anywhere. I'm certainly not going near anywhere near metal or aggressive, um, angry rock kind of stuff. I mean, I know what the stuff does to you. I think boom bop doesn't do it. I think there's a certain amount of upness to that. If I'm, you know, trying to cover my tracks here so I don't get too much hate. Um, I don't know how many people that are into trap. And I guess I'm coming down hard on trap in particular because this stuff is so gloomy um, and depressing. And I talked to my friend about it and I was like, you know, do you ever think about the fact that you drive around listening to this stuff all day might have something to do with enhancing why you're not in a great mood? According to the, to AI, chat gpt i asked chat gpt can can music cause depression and it's and it says basically that it, it can't cause depression but it can influence your mood and emotional state so if you're predisposed disposed to disposed to having to feeling down or to being having the blues you listen to more it can have more of an impact on you. So if you're if you're feeling bummed out, it's just like hanging out with specific people. Like if you're feeling bummed out, you should be really careful about what you're listening to. You should probably be careful about what you're reading, taking in on social media like this. Um be aware that all that stuff is like, it's having an effect on you. And it might not be a good effect in the long run for you. It's going to make the Travis Scott's and Futures and, you know, Taylor Swift's of the world wealthy. But, it, you know, is it going to do anything good for you? And is there something else going on there that you need to um, consider? It says here... Um, music can be therapeutic on the other hand it says on the flip side um, it can help people process emotions I get that um, I, I find that if I'm in a bummed out mood I mean 
listening to music that makes me feel good gets rid of the bad mood. Like I said, I mean, for every, it's something different for everybody. I don't know if, I don't see how it could be the gloomy stuff that could in, improve your mood. Um, it even says here that it music affects the release of neurotransmitters like dopamine and cortisol. Um, slow, somber music can lower your energy levels. Upbeat music can boost your mood. Now, I listen to a bunch of Future Radio on uh, the playlist, Future Radio on Spotify. I danced through some of it, mainly because I didn't want to get bummed out. Uh, I danced through it. But there's nothing that I would find that would be boosting your mood or making you feel upbeat about that music. And if there's a, if you're listening to that on the regular full-time basis, I don't know. I would think that would be like, I don't know if that would have a great effect on your, you know, on a positive effect on your, your well-being. I know this is a crazy topic. I'm probably going to get um, any kind of reaction. I don't know what kind of reaction. I mean, maybe it'll get, if I get one person to think about like, being careful about what the fuck they're listening to or, you know, think about what they're taking in and like maybe think about the, how their day is going or like, you know what? I listen to a lot of real gloom and doom shit and um, I seem to be in a gloomier mood. I wonder why. I'll, I'll go quickly to the recap of the live stream, which went again five hours. I have no... Well, I know how it did. It, it, we, at a certain point, we really kicked in and having a lot of fun. Um, I don't find croissant videos to be uh, depressing. So if, if you don't know what I'm talking about, then, you know, you'll have to check out the next live stream. Because I had to pull a bunch of stuff because of copyright claims by Epidemic Sound, of all things. And Alicia, uh, J Records for the Alicia stuff and... Angie Stone stuff. Uh, we, in the middle of the live stream, I found like a video of, I guess you would say the making of the Brother Part 2 remix that I worked on with Alicia, Angie Stone, and Eve. I didn't even know this video was on until that night, like literally Googling it because I was talking about it. I don't really understand how the whole thing works when, like, say, the Parisian Vibe channel, which had the croissant videos, they were playing some music in the background, which was apparently licensed by them from Epidemic Sound, which is one of those music soundtrack bed licensing catalogs, I guess, that if you pay it, if you pay like one fee, you get a clearance. But the channel didn't hit me for the for the um, copyright. Epidemic Sound did. Now I thought Epidemic Sound was already paid for that track by the video channel that used it. They might be doing some sort of thing where they're like collecting on the stuff that they license and getting paid for the stuff that they license. Is that possible? I don't know enough about that. I think I'm going to have to find out enough about that. Uh, I'll be doing another live stream this Friday. I know that the, yeah, I'll keep it to just this week. This Friday, I think it's the 13th. Sounds about right. I'll be doing the six o'clock stream. It'll be crazy. I'll say it out loud. It's not going to be five hours. I'm going to try and keep it to three. For those of you who are hanging out here still, thanks. Thanks for the super chats and uh, buy me a coffees and uh, contributions to the to the stream. It helps, um, you know, fill the coffee cup, 
keep things going. I'm on a lot of coffee today because for some reason I was uh, a little slow this, to start off the day. But I got a bunch of stuff to do. I got a couple of mixes to address. I've got um, some edits to do. I guess I got to upload this video. Doesn't take much work. Um, I'd appreciate your thoughts on the music affecting your mood. I got to think of a crazy title for this one so that I annoy some people. And um, I'm hitting the button. 